Well, hello everyone, I'm Yanni from View View Gaming, and today we are going to check out Cat Swap Tiles, which is a tile swapping puzzle game in which you have to rearrange the tiles in such a way that you create a safe path through the level for this little kitten. Uh, so we're going to see how that plays. For settings wise, you can adjust the music and other sounds. You can show numbers. I'm not quite sure what these numbers are about, but they're off by default. So let's just try and leave them like that. There are three difficulty no modes. I'm not sure what the difference is between them, if it's something about having hints or not. Uh, potentially and then you can switch between full screen and you can sh um, choose the uh, different resolutions here and then of course you can reset your game if you want to and you can quit which we don't want to do right now we want to actually play so uh, okay so we have forest a lava desert and dungeon and we apparently have to complete forest all the first levels to leave uh, move on to lava and then we have, ooh, love this notebook, okay. Oh wow, that scrolls very, very slowly. Can you drag, oh, you can drag it, that's much faster. <laughs> um, okay, so there's a whole bunch of stuff here you can read. You can adjust the difficulty level at any time in the settings menu. That is really uh, nice. And of course you can consider restarting. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of stuff here that you can read if you need some help. Let's try and see if we can figure it out without, and then we'll see how it goes. So let's jump into forest. Ooh, there's 14 levels in here. Nice. I think there's 44 levels in total for the game and something like 7 achievements or something. Okay, I'm completely lost. Walking in the middle of this dense forest seems to be the easiest way to move forward. Could you help me by swapping uh swapping on the pieces next to the pit mm. maybe if we rearrange them properly i could find my way out here i am and those little paw prints are where i need to get uh, or need to get okay ah okay so we have to go over here and we start over there right so these two one of these two have to be over there um yeah okay so oh okay I guess this one was activated already, the one with the corner. But there we go, now we're actually here. And, uh, woohoo, well done. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It seems that there are some identical pieces out there. I think we could swap them. Oh, it moved on before I even got to read it. That's not good. That's not good. That, that's a little minus because, you know, people read at different you know, speed, so maybe sometimes you have to go and get a, something to drink or something when you start a new level and then you leave your PC as this level starts up and then you don't get to actually read whatever it said. Um, we can probably still figure out the, the level, but still. So there is a little thingy up here. Okay, so when I click it, it shows the numbers. So it said one, two, three, four. So that's probably the order that the kitty has to go in. Oh, maybe that's what those numbers were about that you could turn on in the menu. So if I go in here, it looks like I can actually do this. So if I do this uh, and we do this. Oh, so would that make sense? If we say one up, move this up here. Now we got, we're just going to fiddle around with it. Then this would be two. No, that does not make sense. That does not make sense at all. Oh, okay, so maybe it goes like this. So one, two, three, four, right? So you go one row, then the next row. See, that would work. Um, okay, that feels a bit too easy, but it is an option if you want to just complete the level really fast and you can use the numbers. I can't move some obstacles like rocks or trees. They are fixed, so all we can do is something, something. Okay, well, I don't want numbers on, but the option is there. So if that's something you want, then you can do that. Um, okay, so let's see. We have to go down here. So one of these has to be up there. Uh, yeah, I think this goes there. This goes there and this goes there. Aha. Yes. Awesome. Ah, I like this. It's cute. It is very cute. Okay, so now we have this. What is the difference if I go and switch to hard mode? Ah, I noticed something. It actually, yes, it does remove this, so you don't have the option for hints. 
Yeah, I wonder what easy mode does. Oh, it has something there. Okay, we're fiddling around. I want to see what this is all about. Oh, it actually shows you... I don't know why this one is black. That's the one you can see is black over here. That, that would be that tile. But it actually directly shows you the... Um, yeah, the solution to the level. Whereas this one just gives you the numbers. But I feel like that works pretty much as easily as this one. Um, okay, so I definitely think I prefer... Well, it doesn't really matter. I prefer um, normal, but even if you play it on easy, you don't have to use these. You can just ignore that they are up there. Um, and that way you can still play it through. So it doesn't really change anything other than it gives you some options. But you still have them because you can change it in here. So anyway, anyway, let's see. Where do you... Do, 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 I think, was it something like this? No, that's not quite right. <laughs> uh, see, I didn't pay much attention to how um, it actually showed when we looked at the solution up here. There we go. Okay, look at that. Yeah. Woohoo. Well done. Awesome. Okay, so this is a cute little game. I like this. Hmm, look, one of my friends are near. Could you take me near him on the way every time it's a available something something uh, okay so we have to but i guess you always have to do that anyway because you probably need all the tiles to actually get up here or maybe sometimes you don't need to use all of them i don't know but we need to get up there which means we probably want to go like this and then um that doesn't quite work this is the only one Oh, well, this one would work as well. Um, maybe I want to go up a bit further and do this. And do this and do this. See, so now we're going to pass by this little kitten there. Look at that. We're going to pick it up and bring it along. Nice. <laughs> if we find ourselves stuck in any level, maybe restarting it would be better than trying to find a solution. Sometimes bad decisions... Okay, so I think all these things that it sells down here is actually the same things as in here. Um, so, uh, click on the pieces next to the pit. That was the first one. Then it said something about being stuck. It says something about adjusting the difficulty level. Uh, you can swap the positions of identical and so on. Yes, so I think most of these are actually, you know, the same ones that you get when you read down here so at least the option is still there to find them you just don't know exactly which one it is um unless they're in the same order but it didn't really completely feel like that hmm. okay well it doesn't matter i'm sure we can figure it out i don't know how we're gonna pick you up though uh, if you're out here oh it said something about when possible which means it's not always possible to pick up the other kitty mm -hmm. um okay well we need to Go over there, so... Uh, do, do, do. I think we want to put this over here, and then we're going to put that there. Oh, there we go. Oh, the kitty actually stays where it is, even if you move the tile underneath it. Ah, cool. <laughs> oh, boy. I heard that an ancient forest legend said that getting into these vortexes may connect you to other ones through space and something, something. Okay, but that's pretty typical for these games. You go into a portal and come out of the other portal. Or sometimes if there's multiple portals, then another one that looks the same way or has the same color or uh, things like that. So, let's see. Uh, we're definitely going to need a corner one down here to get out because we only have these two options. But we also have the portal here, so that could be another option. Hmm... That this one would actually lead down there. Um, okay. Let's put you there. Let's put you there. And maybe do this. And then we're going to put this over here. And we're going to switch these around. There we go. That should work. Yes. Look at that. We are making good progress. Nice. Okay, yes, you can adjust the difficulty level at any time in the settings menu. So it's definitely not the same 
um, order that in here because here it's like the third one I think or something that said that so but anyway it is a minor detail um, hmm. let's see we kind of need something down here but we don't really have one that goes like this so I don't think that's a good idea I think we need to do something like that and maybe if we put you over there and we put you there and we put you there right that would work Aha. oh I like that little detail <laughs> slows down when we have to cross around the corner oh whoa this is an uneven terrain we have some different altitudes here hmm Oh, okay, so the ones that are raised. Interesting. Okay. So we ha you have to use the portal to get between the two different altitude altitudes, it looks like. Um, okay, but the only option we have is to use one of these up here, or this one. Depends on which level we want. It might be good to have this. Mm. But we are going to want to have all of these... Do, do, do. Yeah, no. I think we actually want this one. We want to use the lower level. Yeah. Something like so. Maybe. Oh, we can't. Okay. I thought it said that you couldn't move the trees or the rocks, but we can we cannot move the rocks, but we could actually move the trees before. Um, hmm. Uh, okay, well, actually, I think we need to... Oh, um, got one activated that I didn't mean to activate before, but there we go. Yes. Yeah. And pick up the little kitty. Nice. Oh, now, now it's like night time. Where did the sun go? I'm glad I made some firefly friends. They're willing to be my light. I don't see any fireflies, but I guess that's why it's... A little bit lit up maybe mm hmm no okay we cannot move the trees oh it's because we can move the bushes okay uh, we have to go down here so question is if we want the uh, this level to do then this you how do you fit with the rest Oh, right, you can't go over there. Uh, okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just like, how are we gonna get... Do I not have to use them all? I have a hard time seeing how these all fit together in a way that works for us. Maybe you don't always have to use all the... Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, let's try and put you over there. And then we have this one. Oh. Uh, hmm. Where do I want... Okay, let's try and put you over there. And... This. And this. Aha, now it works, yes. So, there we go. Now we've got all of those connected. And then we can do uh, this. Yes, got it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, it's just such a minor detail, but very cute. That's all I needed. These bats look a bit hostile, don't you think? I'll need your help trying to avoid them. Uh, okay. Where do I have to go? I have to go down here. So, all of these are... Well, these two are definitely not going to be able to connect there because we don't have any going up this way. So, I think we're going to have to go something like this, right? And then if we switch you around... Uh -huh. So, we're going to leave the bed over there. Oof! Awesome! I don't know why, but my little friends avoid vortexes. They don't stay near them. Interesting. Have you noticed? Your little friends. Well, right now, this one is actually 
near a vortex, but of course once I've moved things around, they don't usually stay near. That's true. I think we need to put this here because we only have these two. And then I think this would work, so we put you like that. Um, something does not seem right. Oh, I did it the other way around. I've gotten so used to the kitty being, you know, somewhere up here. And the um and the uh, and these somewhere down there, but why does it not actually work? Go here, we go there, and then we go up. Something doesn't seem right. Why? Uh, what am I missing? Do, 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 that's weird. Huh? Why can you not go there and then come out and go up there? Uh, that's weird. Hmm. Okay, what can we do instead? No, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. That's that's no, that's terrible. Uh, I don't really see how we can do this differently. Am I but just being blind? Hmm. And I don't see how we can bring our little kitty in on this, right? Because you come from down here. So what is the deal with that? Um, do do do. Need to be rescued every time. Don't forget that you have to make your way through it every. I don't know. There's something missing here. You can't read the rest of the line, so that's a little weird. Um. But attack when you cross what something so apparently there's also crocodiles and uh, the path pieces only connect with others of the same altitude that's what i did kittens don't stay near vortexes um hmm. two pieces may look similar but be completely different depending on their flow direction in this case they won't something their flow direction. Is that because we're gonna get water or something? I don't know. But I don't understand why this is wrong. Because you're not allowed to be next to this. But how can we do that? Oh, well, we can't move the tree, so that's not gonna work. As I was thinking we could do this and then we could have this over here. But that will not work. Okay, what if I do that? That's not gonna work either. I'm confused. I don't get this. Uh huh. Okay. Uh one, two. Four, five. Okay, so oh, it's not allowed to be right next to a path, but it's also next to a path here. But it's on another. Didn't we have it right next to a path on another one? I guess that's the problem. Okay, so now we can do it. Oh, okay, so it's because the little bat is not. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch some of the other ones, but I just feel like we had them right next to... It looks like these bats are not giving up anytime soon. Oh, okay. So simple, but... <laughs> but not quite yet. Oh, quite. Not quite. Okay, so... That means we need to get up here somehow, but we're not allowed to walk right next to these. So how do we avoid that? Um... If we do this, see now it's they are right next to right, and now but now why did my little kitty stay over there? 
Oh, okay. So it, it, that's right. It never actually moves around. I forgot that because somehow when I've adjusted all these little tiles, the, it just always happened to be where it needed to be. But okay, that's a little indicator that we have to go through here somehow. Okay. But that makes sense because we want to avoid these. We can't move this, right? So we don't want to go through here somehow. Um, how can I avoid that? Now well, this would bring me through there, but then I can't get up there. Uh, I don't really have one that goes like this. So... But don't then we pass right past this. Is that not a problem? Um, something does not seem right. Okay. Yeah. So we definitely don't want to. I don't... Then there's a little cursor blinking here. That's weird. And there. Uh, oh, is that because um, I've missed something up? There's also one here. What does that mean? It's like a little thingy. Weird. Okay. But I still don't quite see how we can avoid these two. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so now we have this up here. What is that all about? Okay, this is... Now it's suddenly getting confusing because I don't really quite understand what it is. <laughs> I am doing wrong here. Mm. Can I, I suppose I have to move those guys around or something? But I don't... That doesn't... That's not right because then we're right next to them. But I can't move this, so... Oh. Very, very weird. Uh, well, we only have two options down here. Well, we also have this, but then we walk in here. That's not going to work. So we have these two. We can switch around. And then from here, we can attach this, but that goes in there. So that's not going to work. Or we can do this. Um, but that doesn't really work either. Uh, we can't go all the way, and I assume we have to use all the pieces. So, I'm not quite getting here. Hmm. Yeah, you don't like that. Why do you not like that? But I don't get... One, two, three... Oh, okay. <laughs> They're facing different ways, so they can't see me if I switch these two around, because this one is actually facing into or out of the screen, right? It's facing me. This one is facing that way, so that means this one won't see us if we sneak by there, but this one, that will see us, right? If we have it down there. <laughs> oh, man, so it wasn't the path that was... It was uh, wow, that's like this little... <laughs> okay, they're everywhere up here and down there. At least the sun is nearly up and we're getting closer to the edge of this forest. Yes. All right, there are 14 levels. Did it say something about that? Because I would not have thought it. I didn't notice that at all. I haven't really studied those bats that much. Um, do, do, do. Two pieces you have to catch whilst blah, blah, blah. Bats, fire turtles and any other hostile creatures that live near the path or the pipes can only attack the pieces placed but then there is this little hiccup that you can't actually read all of it so unless you get the pop-up while you're playing and manage to actually re read it before it disappears then how am i supposed to read the rest of this uh, because it might actually be that it says something placed near it can only attack the pieces placed near the direction they're facing or something right um, but I don't really see any other way where it tells you other than you have to pay attention to that tiny detail that it's facing a different direction. Okay, 
So there's a little bit of a hiccup with that. It would be nice if they fixed this so you can actually read everything because I can't find a way to actually read it. Or make it so, or well, both actually make it so that these little pop-ups stay on screen until you left click or a space or whatever. Because I don't want to use this all the time. Uh, but... <laughs> okay, well, anyway, let's see. Let's see. Aside from that, uh, I do think it's a fun little game and I'm a I am actually having fun even though I'm kind of completely messing up here. Uh, okay, so let's just do this and then we need something like this. So now we kind of have a path that works, but then we again we have to make sure. So if we put you over here, you'll be facing away from the paths. So you shouldn't be able to see a sneak past and this one is actually looking kind of out of the screen, right? So you won't see anything either. Nice. <laughs> oh man, that got a little bit tricky, but it's cool. Oh, new achievement. We got an achievement where we ended up in this muddy something something. Cool. Uh, okay, so now oh, we have tombstones and stuff. That's not good. I wonder what we're gonna run into. Maybe skeletons or something. Hmm. Uh, let's put that over there. Okay, so something like this, right? Yes, awesome. Nice. <laughs> oh man. Okay, well, I think we're gonna end this right here. Uh, I actually quite enjoyed this uh, despite these little hiccups and me being completely utterly confused as to why I couldn't complete a couple of those levels. Um, but at least I figured out the thing with the with the bats and how they're facing. Uh, I do kind of like the graphics. I like it. it's very very cute. I love these little this little kitten. It's very cute when it goes like woo, and then when it has to break up to turn around the corners. It's just tiny tiny details, but it all matters, right? It adds to the cuteness level of the game. Uh, I just wish they would get this fixed. Like for instance, reading the notebook and making sure that these tips actually stay on screen until you have read them. But aside from that. I quite enjoyed this and for the price uh, you pretty much can't go wrong if you like to play something like this. So anyway let me know what you guys thought about it guys and um, yeah thank you for watching, you take care and happy gaming. <laughs>